Okay. So, this is the Dally Green Smart BMS. I've got the touch screen, the battery gauge, and the Bluetooth module. And today we're just gonna go over how they work. So, the cable, you wanna start with it unhooked from the BMS, disconnected. And you start with your black negative cable coming off of your battery pack. And you start with your first battery confirming polarity. And series connect the batteries each time. So every connection of the battery, every series connection is gonna have a lead off the BMS. And each lead is gonna, so you'll start with the negative and then go through to the first positive for your 3.2 volts with lithium iron phosphate. And then you'll add the next battery voltage and so on and so on and so on. And we'll confirm that before we hook it up. So let's get going. Here's another, here's the first connection for the battery's first voltage. Second connection for the second voltage. Third connection. Fifth. Six. That's helpful mode. No, you just knocked them over. <laughs> no, you just knocked them over. That's okay. What are we doing? Are we testing these BMSs to see how they're going to work for our battery? Where does our power come from? Anyone want to answer? No? A uh, wind bomb. Solar panels and a wind. Yeah? And where do we store it? In the bomb. Uh, where do we store our power? Do you want to keep uh, passing those to me? Uh, uh, Dada. 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 Me back the last one. Zoe, we need the last one. Perfect. Okay. So, let's just confirm. That these are all connected correctly. So we're gonna grab the terminal strip. We're gonna start with ground. And just look at the first battery's voltage by connecting to the second conductor. So we've got 3.324. Next, 6.66. And one of them is all the way up. 9.98, sorry Zo? And one of them is 13.32 16.65 19 whoa, there we go 19.97 23.30 and we've got a bad connection here Let's just go back one. 23. 26. 29. 33. 36. 39. 43. 46. 50. And finally, 53.3 for the total pack voltage. So, I did test this before. <laughs> hey, Benny. <laughs> Got a couple kids with me. <laughs> okay, so we don't want anything to short out here. Let's try to keep the leads away. But So, the BMS has an NTC port, which is for the temperature sensor. You plug that in like this. The light board for the battery gauge has the biggest or connector on the board. I haven't counted how many conductors it has, but I guess we could. Eight conductors on that one. And then your touch screen connects to the UART port. Okay.
So we will definitely want to keep the positive away from <laughs> anything. Mm -hmm. I'll show this up here. Dada. Yeah, buddy. We've got conductivity across that. Mm -hmm. There's the ground now. <laughs> 53 volts. We've got power across that. Okay. Hey, buddy. Yeah. So when we plug this in, you should see the screen come up. Mm -hmm. There we go. And plugging it in there brought up the battery gauge and also the touch screen, which is actually not bad at all. You can go to the next page and see each individual cell voltage. And you can go to the settings page. And it's a little tricky, but if you click on the green values, they are adjustable. There's the high current, so we'll go 130 for this for now. There you go. Actually works really well. Okay, so we've got the light gauge hooked up still. We've got the temperature sensor hooked up. Now we're gonna hook up the Bluetooth BMS dongle. It's right here. And here we go. Let's plug that into the UART port. We're going to plug in the main connector again. And if you don't see everything come on right away, don't worry, just push this power button and that's usually enough to start it up. So here's the app right here, Smart BMS, be the green with the silver square, it says BMS or whatever, white square, sorry. So anyways, when you click on that, the device for me showed up right away, so when you click on the device, Hey buddy, you get a gauge of where the batteries are and the total voltage current I guess in and out shows whether the MOSFETs, MOSFETs the discharge and charging ones are on or off and then down here it breaks out all the individual cell voltages and the temperature of the sensor, alarm faults. Nice, we're gonna make that tonight. Yeah, and that's about it. Honestly, this has been a really nice system so far. I wish there was more information online about it. That's why I'm just putting this up there. Give anyone a helping hand. And just for the record, I've ordered 2,032 650 cells that I'm going to build my own yeah. off-grid power bank with. I'm considering using the Dally BMS. I'm also looking at a couple other ones. So, yeah. yeah. Keep an eye out for some more videos. There's going to be lots. We've been off grid for six years. We started with a lead acid battery, 10 kilowatts of solar, and we've just recently added two kilowatts of wind. But yeah, the lead acid battery is on its way out and we'd like to be prepared before it lets us down. So yeah, we're going to be building this lithium iron phosphate probably in the next month. So I've got all the parts together. The batteries just landed in Vancouver. They're coming over by rail. And then hopefully I can get them in the coming week. We'll see how customs goes. So yeah, I can fill you in on all of that later. And, and one last thing. Once you've clicked on the device, there is a preference tab at the bottom, which gives you the ability to change uh, cell high volt protect, cell low volt protect, some volt high protect, some volt low protect, different of cells I guess protect um, overcharge charge over current protection discharge over current protection and then you can choose the battery type rated capacity of the pack cell preference sleep waiting time I guess that might be for the display we'll send the battery gauge state of charge balanced open start volt balanced left open diff and uh, 
Okay, that's just scrolling through. Collect boards number. Okay, so maybe I'll see if I can stack these. That's my plan. I want to get a system that I can stack them and see the total bank while being able to see individual parallel stacks voltage to keep an eye on them. I'm considering using equalizing VMS though because it's not a huge jump in price. So also board one cell number, board two cell number, board three cell number. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can probably stack systems here. And then also the temp. And then all your temp protects. So if you want to set your charging minimum voltage to above zero. Let's see about doing this. Well, apparently you need a password, so we're going to have to figure that one out. Hey, take care.